Hey fellas, how you doing? Another unboxing video. Um, this is going to be, well the date is now, it's um, two days before um, I'm going to be filmed by the uh, UK Preppers thing. Um, so I'm not actually going to be um, editing and uploading this video until after I've shot all that. So um, I should imagine this video is going to be live, uh, what are we now, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. possibly Friday. Friday, Saturday, I guess. So, uh, anyway, it's from my good friend over in the States, RPM Idaho. RPM Idaho, man! <laughs> he loves it when I talk that redneck stuff, brilliant. Um, basically, I've asked um, Robert to um, buy me a knife and um, ship it to me because it's cheaper that way, I believe. Um, done a lot of research into a really, really tough, strong knife that's um, rust resistant. Uh, yeah, tough, sharp, water resistant. Um, done a lot of research. Basically, this um, knife in here is going to be going into my um, survival pouch. So that survival pouch more or less goes with me everywhere I go. So it's like an EDC in a way. So um, also, he's chucked in a, a couple of cigars as well, bless him. And maybe something from the Water Ninja too. Hmm, wonder what that can be. So, without further ado, let's get in there. Um, totally illegal UK carry, so, you know, we don't really mind. Let's get in there and have a look. I think, oh, I just like doing this. <laughs> I think I'll just go all the way around, just to be on the safe side, you know. Otherwise, we could be all day trying to get into a strange box. I don't know where you get these boxes from in America. Right, okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh tropical skills! <laughs> Man, I guess that's the war ninja. Oh my word. That's all the packaging at the bottom, so that can go out the way. Oh, do you know what? Lately I've been craving really sweet stuff. <laughs> Oh, buddy. You remembered four packets of tropical Skittles. Man, I love these. God, I love them. <coughs> oh, I've got some cigars as well. <coughs> well I'm going to have to wait till the cough stops. <coughs> wow. Yeah, it's incredible, man. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, thanks so much, Rob. <coughs> God, I can't even talk. Oh, look. But here's a knife. Here's the knife I've been waiting for. Oh, gee whiz. Cold Steel Recon 1 Tanto. The new version. <coughs> oh, we're looking so forward to this. And <coughs> That's a lot narrower than I thought, which is excellent, because I'm going to show you where it's going to be going pretty soon. That is perfect, and I hope you've opened it. It's lightweight, it's not as wide as I thought. I know it's going to be strong. Man, that is some really abrasive, grippable scales there. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That is my backup survival tool. That's it. You won't believe how strong these are. If I could cut a notch so that this blade will fit into and not move around, I can stand on that. Okay, I feel it flexing. I feel the blade flexing more than anything. You see under there? Mm hmm. Give it a couple. It feels solid. 200 pound our way. I can stand on that, maybe spring up and down a bit, and it will not break, it will not de-lock. Similarly, again, I can put it into a notch so it will not move, and I can hang my entire body weight from that. I'm going to swing across all these knives. As you can see, every one of the locking mechanisms is functional. Let's see what knife you would trust your fingers with.
and that tip, shit, there that is proper sharp. Um, one of the ideas I wanted a tanto tip is for shit at the fan stuff for um, spoken fuel tanks to get some fuel. So whether or not a spark's going to um, come come into play, I don't know. <clears throat> Obviously, I've got a diesel truck, so um, I'm not sure if sparks and a full tank of diesel is going to be a problem. Or half a tank of diesel with some diesel vapors, maybe. I'm not really sure about how fuel work, works exactly. But um, that's the idea beyond a Tanto tip, anyway, for gaining fuel for my vehicles. And that is um, stainless steel, it's rust resistant, it's Oz 8, so you know it's tough as hell. It just, feel, it just fits perfectly into the hand. It really does. Great, that's a lot back. I think it's called the Tri-Lock, they call it. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Yeah, you got to press down really hard, that's it. You can open it one-handed, just. I'm going to have to get used to that lock because it's so strong. Oh, but yeah, you really got to push it down. I think it's going to take some um, wearing in, to be honest. But yeah, it just goes to show you how tough these buggers really are. That's it, I finally got it shut. Thanks so much for doing that, Robert. It really means a lot, mate. Um, if I was to buy that in the US, sorry, in the UK, um, I think we're looking at around about £60, which is near on $100. It's crazy, crazy UK. Oh, brilliant. Tropical Skittles and cigars. I've got to smell of cigars. <clears throat> oh, this, I'll tell you what, this cough is just doesn't want to go away. In fact, the local GPs, the general practitioners, doctors, uh, have dubbed this <clears throat> bronchial um, viral infection, the 100 day cough. And I've been into this about a month now, so 30 days, so when possibly I'm a third of the way into it. <clears throat> so <clears throat> we'll have to see. Um, I hope the film goes all right in a couple of days' time. We just have to uh, <laughs> pray and hope it all goes to plan. That smells like heaven. Heaven in a tube. Holy cow. Yeah. Wow. Grand Reserva. Ave, what's that? Fuente. Perfect. Really, really nice. And uh, Romeo Juliet, hey, that's what we're for a long time. Great cigars. Romeo Julieta. See, si. fantastic. See, si. very good. <laughs> yeah, check it out. And I'll tell you what, these, um, these little sachets really do help. It's nice and soft. Oh, yeah. Mega, mega spice. That is going to be, yeah. I haven't smoked one of these for a long time. Wow. Romeo Julieta, Reserva Real. Reunited. Oh, thanks so much, Rob. And I'm glad you like the shooting target as well. So, um, yeah, give me your email address and I'll um, send you an email with the uh, attachment on there so you can print it out in HD, not worry about crappy photocopies. Because, you know, Paul Piers Morgan deserves respect. He should be shot properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. This is awesome. <laughs> Darren the Funky Prepper asked me if I like Pierce Morgan. I hate Pierce Morgan. I can't stand the son of a bitch. These need this needs to be said most of is the UK hate Piers Morgan have fun at the range so here's this is what the funky prepper sent me I'm gonna photocopy and make a shitload of these and I will be I'll be handing these out to everybody on YouTube if you want one comment to this video and tell me you want one I'll send you one that's thank you Darren that's classic I love it yeah, baby. 
Just take it to go to over the US because there's a lot of people in the UK who don't like Piers Morgan. He's just a tosser, really, in my opinion. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And my opinion is, well, he just um, does what he's told for the highest bidder, regardless of what we think and feel. So he's a sellout tosser. So good luck in shooting, mate. Have fun on the range and uh, thanks for getting me my survival tool of choice. The Recon Tanto. Cold Steel. Recon 1. Available in all good most stores. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys, and stay funky.